Kevin Bowen here back at Grand Park Wednesday morning. A full padded day after uh, just shorts and helmets for the Colts on Tuesday. We saw the first live period, goal line drills, live tackling from the Colts today. Let's start with the injury news. Uh, the list is long, so I have my cell phone uh, to run down all the names. Guys that didn't practice. Andrew Luck, Paris Campbell, T.Y. Hilton, Braden Smith, Kamoko Terry, Jabal Sheard, Ben Banigou, Clayton Gathers, Ross Travis, Jack Doyle, Marcus Hunt, Jordan Wilkins, Penny Hart. That, I think, is like uh, nine or ten starters on that list. Some maintenance on there with Hilton and Gathers and Hunt. Um, I think it's an oblique injury for Jack Doyle. Um, we know Paris Campbell dealing with the hamstring right now as well. So a long list of injuries for the Colts. Um, as far as what they did in the practice field, like I said, live tackling in the goal line period, really spirited, very intense. The first time they've done that all of camp, and I thought the defense flat out dominated. Now, it was a lot of reserves in there, a lot of second and third teamers, um, but that that defensive unit, they've been the best unit by far in camp, and obviously the offense was missing some key pieces today, uh, but they held their own with several run stops. I don't even know if the offense scored on any of their run plays from the one yard line. A guy that was in there making some plays and ended up getting some first team action today was rookie EJ Speed. This is the fifth round pick from Tarleton State, the guy that had the grainiest of all grainy college films. Matt Eberflew said after practice, EJ Speed is jumping off the tape physically in terms of how fast he is, his ability to hit, things like that. They wanna see if mentally now he can get up to being a potential starter. Where that would happen, it would have to be at the Sam linebacker spot. It's a position really you only have on the field for 10 or 15 snaps per game. So Matthew Adams has been the guy there early on in camp. They gave EJ Speed a look at it today. We'll see if it continues for the fifth round pick out of Tarleton State. Um, receiver wise, I thought Devin Funches and Chris John Hogan, the local product, I thought they had two of their better days of camp. Hogan probably had three or four catches. A really nice day for the Warren Central and Marion kid. Um, as far as the receiver that didn't have a great day, it was Deion Kane. We probably saw two or three drops from Kane on very catchable balls. Um, definitely not one of his better days so far at camp. Uh, lastly, Rock Yassin. I thought early on in practice, some struggles. Later on in practice, he was just uh, looked like a stud. Out on an island against Devin Funches, I tipped the ball up to himself, then made the interception. Then on the very next rep, him and Funch is chirping a little bit. He's able to force an incompletion as well. So Rocky is seen as a guy that, again, on an island, in man coverage against the 6'4 wideout, really held the zone very nicely. We'll see if that leads to some nickel reps for him moving forward as the Colts do a lot of interchanging right now at that third corner spot. So I'm Kevin Bowen signing off here from Grand Park. One more morning practice tomorrow, Thursday morning, and then an off day on Friday. 1075thefan.com, all your content.